we got the shaft back from a friend with the lathe. So he put some welds on here with some special witchcraft welding rod that you can uh, you can weld uh, for example a hydraulic ram if you nick it you can weld it and it makes a very nice surface and then he turned it down in the lathe and polished it so we are quite confident that that's going to help seal the top lid and we have a new seal ring for the top so we are going to clean this off and then we are going to stab it back in the opposite order of how we took it out so let's get to it Someone has been beating on this upper part of the, on the cam. I checked it before I took it out and it wasn't touching the barrel, but uh, I'm going to take a file and just smooth out the surface a bit so we don't get any problems. Someone's been beating on it from above. See this looks brand new. There's one rubber seal in the middle and then it's two backup orthers on either side. And you just press them in with your fingers. Like so. I'm just looping it up with some oil. So, it's brand new. Everything looks 
find some grit and dirt on the top. We need to oil the barrel and the gas and uh, the seals. This is heavy. I'll show you. Oh, he welded. <laughs> so it's a bit uneven below the weld surface, the seal surface. But uh, we didn't want to heat the shaft more more than we have to with the welds. So, I wonder if I can do this by hand. That's probably a bad idea. I even marked it bottom so we know that it's this one. And put some grease on this one. Bottom seal ring. So we using that too. Good and this fits in the fits in the grooves where the seals meet the shaft. I'm just going to only go one way. The seals in the lid. Looks good. So we must have changed them too. Just put a bit of grease on them as well. Five bolts. 
leave with copper emphasis by the previous business owner. I think it's what it's going to cost. Need to check the man. You want to check the steel ring before we tighten it down? We can't check it. The blind lady can't. Let's torque it down. 200 foot pound. Good. 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 Good, 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 like so, stay, let me see what's behind door number one, cracked steel ring, I think, You don't have much confidence in me. It's supposed to sound like that. Drum roll. Still there. Still this. Yeah, looks good. Mm. Very nice. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs>
see everything that looks fine. Mm. Give me the camera so they can take a look. The seal ring is located, the bottom seal ring is that one. This one was not broken when we opened this. So, let's try not to break anything more. Now we are going to uh, put these things back with the springs and uh, yes because they go underneath the seal ring and then it's uh, the bottom side all over again seal ring o-ring and a lot of cleaning and then pressing on the lid and then it's digging time <laughs> probably yeah that should be a problem should it Mark this left and right, but the right thing has gone away, so you might have to go check YouTube mm. my latest film to see. Let's see what I'm like. This only go on one way, it's no problem. Now it's time for the seal ring, so you might take the camera and show the people what 3,000 Swedish crowns looks like with shipping. So this is a steel ring from USA, I guess. BMF 1888302M. Maybe M1. So this is the seal ring that was broken. So let's put the new one and see if we can break it. Put oil on this. I have grease on the other one. Should oil and grease on this one? Mm. <laughs> Be sure. So we don't break it. Yes. I wonder what the pose has to say about this. About grease and oil. You know, Polish people, we have the steering. Power steering is from Poland. Works very good. Should we put this upside down, inside out, <laughs> backwards? <laughs> That's the hold up. It doesn't feel happy unless it's fit. Hmm. That's 
most actually be a problem. No, that's not. Just kidding. So theory, the, by theory, this shouldn't break because this ring is seated properly. You agree with me? <clears throat> if we turn this now, what happens? Mm, nice, nice sounds. Nothing should happen if we press on the lid now. This is properly seated. Everything is moving. Yeah. Let's clean the lid. Backup ring was towards the top. All of the backup ring is towards the top. I'm just going to clean these up because we have a lot of rust and paint flakes. We clean the seals and the backup washers, and backup rings. The seals, the seal surface where the water got down into the groove, so it's quite dirty and nasty down there. But he replaced the seals anyhow. Hmm? He replaced the seals. Mm -hmm. You have to have seen that this mm -hmm. this surface was bad. But he went ahead anyway.
great. Let's fix to find out if this works. If it's a bust. I always use it as a bow tamper. O ring. Everything's clean. We have a bolt that's stuck, but we, we have to deal with that afterwards. Everything is as clean as it can to get. We have a hydraulic filter. Oh, hey! Yes, it's resting firmly against the seam room. So now we just need some force to get it in. Just kidding, it's the seals. One of them isn't happy. Give it a pick. Mm. Watch my fingers. We have a groove that the previous owner did with the angle grinder on the side, so we know how to cross the lid. Or we think we know. <laughs> now you can trust that guy. Okay. So now we are just going to use brute force and tighten these crooked on one side only. No, just kidding. We're gonna do tighten it diagonal to keep an even force because the shaft is is. Uh, it's like a bearing in the lid, so to keep the shaft from it's a, it's a press fit or whatever you call it. So we need to press this lid on the shaft. And we need all of these bolts. This one is stuck. That's the one we were battling when we were taking the lid off. And we have decided to just leave it, try to get it down again. And if there's something wrong with this, we have to deal with that <laughs> sometimes in the future. Maybe. to try to fit the flue motor back on the back hole and tighten the top lid situated here because we don't we can tighten the lid in the position we have now so uh, as I remember this was not so fun to get those two uh, spline rings to align but uh, 
Vad är det där? So yesterday we stabbed, or I stabbed this uh, slew motor back in position and uh, surprisingly it, it uh, just fell in there. I clocked it to the uh, central position and uh, the digger arm straight forward and somehow it, I didn't have to use violence to get it there, so that's uh, nice. Uh, I have tried it and it uh, actually works. So we did the seal surface on the shaft and uh, no oil leaks yet. Doesn't leak from the bottom, doesn't leak from the top. Some from the hose connection here maybe. Maybe. Nothing concerning anyhow. And it actually moves left to right. So let's see how it performs. So this is the hand throttle, this lever. to do the seals on the lift cylinders for the front loader they are leaking quite bad uh, I think that's the most severe leaks at the moment so we are going to fix that before we do any work with this machine uh, and I'm going to change the hydraulic filter and the oil I have some some milkiness to the oil still but uh, uh, yeah. nothing nothing too severe otherwise this is uh, yeah. working quite good I've been doing some digging where I keep the the backhoe but uh, it's a learning curve, <laughs> I, I say, but uh, yeah, it works, and the seal works, so that's, uh, it's, it had to be that ring, and it, uh, we didn't break it, that had to be broken before we took the lid off, so uh, I believe that was the problem all along, because if you remember the, the Boom only went to the two o'clock position and to ten o'clock position and wouldn't go any fur further. And that's because I think the oil pressure cancelled themselves out 
because it was leaking past the seals up where the ring was supposed to be. Uh, all the ring, all the pieces of the ring was in the right chamber and when we picked the backhoe up the the digger arm was positioned all the way to the left because he wanted room to uh, to take out the slew motor and repack that uh, that will open up the right chamber fully so if the ring broke it would have fallen down in the right chamber and then when we moved it we just shoved the pieces back and forward in the right chamber we had no pieces in the left chamber so uh, and now it keeps still we have a slight drift very very slight so i'm, I'm not gonna chase that not if it's uh, if it just keeps the same rate as it is now so i'm happy with this we are going to take this out and do some digging soon but uh, first the f uh, front loader's uh, lift seals on both sides are leaking bad so i have to fix that so but i'm super excited this th we did this this machine is now a working backhoe and it's almost a year since we picked this machine up so yeah it's working in less less time than a year so that's uh, i'm happy with that so until the next time see you